at what point does a woman start to lose her ability to have children, Dr. Feldman? So I think every, every five years you see your fertility decrease. So for example, at age 20, your chance of getting pregnant is probably 20% per month. Mm -hmm. And that will decrease by the time you're 40 to maybe one to 2% per month. One to 2%. And after 43 or 44, it becomes extraordinarily difficult to conceive spontaneously. But we're living in an age where so many women are putting off pregnancy because of careers. So are you often seeing women in their 40s come in looking to, to get pregnant? Very frequently we'll see women 40 and above come in and ask about pregnancy. And the biggest problem is the quality of their eggs is very poor. Okay. And so their chances of fertility are very small. And I think that the press does a, um, a, a disservice to women by talking about the movie stars or the grandmother who at age 50 got pregnant. Right. Um, and really what's happening is those women are using somebody else's eggs. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're getting pregnant, but it's via in vitro fertilization. So right. it's it maybe their partner sperm, but it's clearly not their genetic eggs. Okay. Now, what are some lifestyle risk factors that might contribute to a woman's infertility? So I think certainly smoking, alcohol, obesity, diabetes, so certain medical problems as well as some of your um, lifestyle uh, choices. Are these often uh, spoken about when a patient meets with you and they go over maybe their, their risk of infertility? Absolutely. Okay. So as it was a part of a full medical history, we'll find out about whatever a woman's lifestyle choices mm -hmm. are as well as those of her sexual partner. By the same token, if um, uh, they do a lot of hot tubs, high temperatures can inhibit sperm production and that can reduce fertility.